But first up, Mel's daydreamy up north. Welcome to paradise. Yep, there's no need to daydream any longer about island life in the Whit Sundays. You two could be barefoot in the sand, and it feels pretty good. We're on Daydream Island in tropical North Queensland. The resort has recently reopened and it's beautiful. To get here is easy. There's daily flights from Sydney into Hamilton Island and then it's a quick 30 minute ferry ride. Originally named West Mole Island, it was the Murray family in the 1930s who christened her Daydream when they opened the very first tourist resort. Almost 90 years on, it's what holiday dreams are made of. Daydream Island is petite, only one kilometre in length and 400 metres at its widest point. It's a perfect example of good things come in small packages. The accommodation has been beautifully refurbished. Families have the choice of twin or interconnecting rooms, with easy access to the outdoors and to the friendly mob of roos. This is my room. It's a deluxe king room. Very stylish, all brand new. And look at this. Here's to the islands. Hello, guys. The <laughs> welcome wagon. <laughs> These suites are great for couples, especially bird lovers. Or if you want a romantic escape, let me show you the Serenity Suite. It has uninterrupted views of Lover's Cove, even from the ensuite. <laughs> Modern and spacious. They say the beach at Lover's Cove is the place to take in the sunset or watch it from the bathtub. The underwater friends on the island are also well accommodated in their new space. Grab a backstage pass and a reef ranger tour with Johnny, the island's marine biologist. There's touch tanks as well as the chance to hand feed a shark. Steve was born here three years ago, the little <laughs> shark, and he doesn't actually have any teeth that can hurt you. OK. There you go, Steve. Oh. <laughs> it's a feeding frenzy. Or join in their newest marine offering. Oh, look! There are people swimming past us. Yeah, so this is our new experience. You can swim with the animals and swim around the coral reef. That is so cool. The Living Reef Lagoon is all about education and it's exclusive to Daydream Island. It's a flow-through lagoon system, so it's different than a normal aquarium. We designed it to replicate the Whit Sundays, so we wanted it to be exactly like the natural parameters in the Whit Sundays. View it from the edge, down in the underwater observatory, or dive deeper. There's between 80 and 100 different species of fish, as well as stingrays, shovel-nose sharks, and Huey, Dewey and Louie have to be some of the cutest residents. Wondering about the food and beverage? You can try so many options while on the island and nothing quite beats cocktail hour. Thank you. Ooh, that looks good. A wonderlust. Perfect drink for a travel show. Daydream Island Resort in the Whitsunday Islands is the perfect getaway. For all the info, head to sydneyweekender.com.au.